Correspondence. I don't believe there is any. Okay. Um, there is, uh, I don't believe, any new business at this point in time. Um, the old business we were going to discuss, I believe, most importantly, was the shed issue. Hmm. And I think we're relying on Ken to gather yeah, some. I can tell you, it's anywhere you want it to go. I mean, I would have brought them all, but it, it's... Really? It's, so you've gotten... Mm -hmm. I've yeah. gotten responses, and every community does what they feel best in their community. It's just, it, it's just it's, it's that varied. One required the size, one could be smaller than the other, one could be a garage, one could, I mean, there's just like... Well, it's yeah. whatever we choose, actually, from what I saw. There's, there's nothing mm -hmm. to help us anymore than we had last month. Well... I guess it's up to us then. I think it is. I think it is. Um, technically, it's accessory buildings. We're calling yeah. sheds, but. So that all all buildings? That wouldn't would be a garage, though, right? A garage is considered an accessory structure. We don't define shed as of yet. Well, accessory buildings under 200 square feet, I think, is what we're going to address. Correct? So, yes, yeah, so we would have to define that. In the, you know, and does the zone specify under 200 square feet? Also, the only, the only time they reference under 200 square feet is to say that you don't require a permit. Okay. Accessory building is three feet. I know we probably want to take this look at the definition. I'm sure we'll have the definition of accessory building would be just. So it doesn't require a permit. However, Still abide by all zoning we have, You still have to abide by zoning. Yes. Minus the permit. So we don't I mean there's really nothing in place right now, right? Other other than the other than locked the, coverage. Locked coverage? Locked coverage. You can't cover more than well, lock, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's impervious surfaces. Well I think it was uh, a couple of meetings ago, there was uh, some public comment about the sheds, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, um, if it's if it's the wild west here, I don't know. Do we need to have? Do you think we need to have a public yeah. forum? We we'll have to have a public hearing before we can change zone. Yeah, but I'm just saying input. Should offer it. I think so. I think definitely. Because we're kind of starting from scratch here, mm -hmm. in, a, in a sense. I don't know, do we need to maybe publish a meeting notice for a public forum? I don't know, public hearing before our next meeting? Or at 7 o'clock? Uh, no, the next meeting, I think. So I, I don't think there's anything. At 7. There's nothing else really pressing. No. But I think this problem needs to be addressed. Oh, so if you guys agree. Yeah, I, I agree I on that agree. one. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be, I'm not sure what the date is. Um, April, let you know. April, 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 April. I got this one second. Picking his calendar. It'll be April, right? And it's the second Wednesday. It'll be April 10th. Okay. 410 and 7th. No. 
once we write up, we're out there too public. For this, for this public hearing, we're getting input. Then, Just we, then we actually write this. <coughs> we have to write right. public hearing yeah. to present that yeah. to them. Yeah. I think it would be good to get the public's input. And I don't really know if there really needs to be any sort of structure or just, just no, we we size, can. whatever. We just want to hear what ideas and the residents think. We right? can make sure we get on the Facebook page and the website. No matter what we do, we'll get complaints. We didn't do enough. I can guarantee you that. Well, right. that's fine. Right. But what we, we, we put it on everything that we have. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll post notices in town. Accordingly. Yeah. Last time we posted notices in five places. We put it on every media site we had with that. Talked about it for three months and we're told we didn't do enough. So I'm beyond that. We'll do what we well, do. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't help. I can't fix that. No, no. me neither. <coughs> we'll uh, we'll so. publish it. I, I hope there is some public input. Mm -hmm. we, we need it. <coughs> So you guys happen to have any, um, I, I know from listening you don't have too much insight, but I know there's going to be a lot of questions that come up, um, for instance, with carports, turning them into, closing them in, are they going to be considered a shed that are an accessory so structure? All the things, things are, I think we're going to discuss. Yeah, like yeah. I said, it's, it's, no, it's okay. I, I almost we're not, we're not deciding idea. anything. We just want to hear what they want. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we don't, don't want. We define yep. shed is where okay. we're starting. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find a yep. shed? Oh. Okay. And how many do you want? Yeah. And what size? It, it, it's, it's not going to have a last time, but you know I mean? No, no, it's going to take no, a while to sort through no, it. I, I think months. maybe just some <clears throat> simple ground rules. So, okay, we're, we're going to say, okay, it's 200 square feet or less. That's where it falls under the zoning currently with a no permit, but it has to abide by zoning. Yeah, because those, right. those are the size buildings we're really. So, we're going to discuss. Height, too. And height, yeah. Right, right, so we're going to discuss basically stuff under 200 square feet. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it's how high, how many, um, <coughs> is there um, setback? Can yeah, they, that? well, they have to abide by setback. Okay. Oh, yeah. That is currently, I should know that, but currently mm -hmm. there. Okay. Yep. Okay. We, we put up a shed. Yeah. We had so setback, so we're just talking about size. Someone came out and measured to make sure yeah, it was exactly know. that, and we... You were, we were with Some people get confused because under 200 square feet doesn't require a permit. It doesn't mean they don't have to abide by zoning. Right. Yep. Okay. okay. Well, like I say, hopefully um, people show up and give us their input because I certainly don't want us three to just decide for the whole village <coughs> without any input. So right. if we do, we do. At some point, we will decide. They don't come put your input in. They take, they'll take what you get. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have a dumb so, question. Does the number of sheds affect the square foot? Like, if you have 250 square foot sheds, does that matter with the 200 square any, foot? All it does, does, any building yeah. under 200 square feet doesn't need a zoning permit. Thank you. But does, as far as lot size, you mean coverage? Well, I mean, does the total square footage of all the number of sheds matter against the yes. 200 you, square foot? You, um, can you, no. What, what, is no. Our, what is our, that 35% thing. Yes. You cannot it's just cover, lot coverage. You yeah. can't cover more than 35% of your lot with an impervious surface. Maximum percentage of lot coverage is 35%, and that considers everything that you have on there. Your house. Driveway. Any driveway. The driveway is part of it. The driveway will be part of it. Currently, I believe, is the only limitation is to the number of accessory buildings. Okay. Thank you. But we can certainly discuss the yeah. number of. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we. Yeah. Yeah. That's their concern. People don't yeah. want ten little buildings scattered around the whole yeah. lot. Isn't that also a way to look at that, and it might help address part of Brad's? If you have two sheds, ten by twelves, you're under two hundred square foot on each shed. If they're touching, they now become one shed. They're truly two different sheds. But if you connect them together, you're actually well, creating one shed larger like than... like a lean tube in between. They could be, yes. I mean, so that would yeah. be something. I think would that address well, yeah, what you're Yeah, question? yeah. That's... We could have a 10-page uh, ordinance for... Shed. Oh, accessory yeah. health care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to put... Yeah. But no, you're right. This is something we have to just narrow down. We had to just put it down. Move, move on. Nice little... Okay, thing. so uh, we're going to call this... Is it a hearing or a... Forum. Forum. I think we're just forum. public forum. I think that's better because it's we're not, the public area. We just want plan. Yeah, we just want public input. Public forum on uh, April 10th. Yeah. Maybe we can worry about. Yeah, I mean that's right date, right? Forum for input. Sure. Yep. Okay. Can you see that? Regarding uh, accessory April. buildings. April. Yep. April. And again, apologies, but Maggie, do you post those things or? I, we, 
The village council will make sure. Should. It's, we'll, make no, sure it's, I, we'll make sure it's on the website and no. the Facebook page. Okay, no, that's fine. As yeah. long as I just want to make, just want to make sure it's that's all. Give me a, a, what you want. I'll make sure it gets on there, whether I do it myself or I. Um, on some things I get with Mission Computers, um, they're a little more up to date of, of getting that up for me, and they've been a great help. So, do you want to add a paper? I, I think so. A little one. Yeah. Yep. I think we need the paper um, the and the, the village website, correct? Right? And the Facebook, and the Facebook, Facebook. Oh, they do. Yes. Okay. So we'll put in all three. And that should cover everything. I mean, Joe, I mean, we'll hold volunteering to do that. So, so I'll get it on there for you. Okay. And we'll we'll see. I pretty much kind of administer the village website and Facebook okay. right now. So I will make sure we get notice up at the. Uh, usually goes to the bank, the library, the village market, the post office, and our office. Village market. So we'll get we'll make sure there's no one that goes by. What about the newspaper? Yes, you just said and do you do, do you do that? I'll have Pat, Pat okay. send in what Joe writes up. Okay. How's that? That that works for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, let's 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 clarify here. You guys are writing up and I'm posting. Well, we'll discuss. <laughs> well, well, you, you just want something from us as far as what to. As long as I have the basic criteria, I can. You want I can amend it on it. Yeah. yeah. Shed, basically. I mean, I don't know how else to work. Yeah, it, it's public oh, forum on uh, 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 public input on. Uh, okay. Accessory That's buildings the and or. The and or shed. What you're shed. looking to get. But yes. reverse. No. How it's. There are zoning on accessory buildings and sheds. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll work out. Right. Get, get a little language out. I'll yep. get I'll get it on there. Okay. Um, goals and objectives was the next old business. Um, we didn't get too far with that. I believe. Um, um, we talked about in the previous meeting, but obviously need two more members. Talked about the logging revenue. Yes. Um, we talked about interaction with the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. and involving the community. Those were the four right. kind of bullet items that I had. Um, I don't know if that, I think the, the two members that we need to address, you know, soon. The logging revenue, I think that was another whole and that maybe decided thousand dollars will probably be don't quote me on this, it hasn't been accepted yet, probably eleven thousand six hundred dollars will been be approved tomorrow for offensive and Oh, okay. I can be on Okay. I will scratch that one. It right is between there. three, but okay. three so that that will be decided. Yeah. Tomorrow, so that's going to move. We've had someone ask, "What about the rest? Wasn't it up to about fourteen thousand in the logging revenue? So what happens with the rest of the money? I it's know the fence was not to exceed twelve thousand. It's just in miscellaneous income, I believe, in the one one. So is that a not that it matters? Like the extra revenue is that that goes into the general fund or yes, it's in the general fund earmarked. Yeah, it's, it's like flags. For it didn't get absorbed within the budget. You know what I'm saying? That money is there for a yeah. really special project like the fence. Miscellaneous expense. I think, it's, I think that's the only place it could show within the line items we have. Am I yeah. correct, Joe? Miscellaneous? Is what it went under? Miscellaneous? Yes. The one -on -one yes. Is yeah, I'm, I'm uh, pretty positive. Free. It's, it's more work than it sounds to create another line item within yeah. a budget that's already been approved. Yeah, no, not that it matters. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's actually within that, and then it's president uh, accounted for. It's flagged. Then. Okay. Um, again, back to the uh, goals and objectives. I know we talked about some interaction with the chamber. Um, Are they even back yet? How? Well, I think uh, Susie McGuire was um, out of town, or still is. She's the president, yeah. right? So, again, that's something that's maybe a little bit down the road, a couple months, but I think I think the chamber, I feel, should be involved with uh, whatever planning or goals and objectives should be involved with. Quite a bit. 
for the planning commission and, and the village council. Yep. That Hopefully, there's some discussion. So about the Fourth of July event with the chamber. Yeah, I, yeah, and I think um, yeah, I have no issue about reaching out to them. Maybe that needs to be like I don't know, May or I think something. Maybe yeah. I can't. You you probably couldn't make their meeting because they won't hold evening meetings. So as far as the planning commission has to try to attend their meeting is they hold them during work days, work hours. Do, what, do they have a, a published schedule of their meetings? They, they, they know? did last year, and I don't know if they changed it. Do you know, Lisa, uh, did they I, ever... I don't know, but I know it's at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. It, it used to be like, yeah, that's what it used to once, be. Once, once a month. month, and I don't remember yeah. what Friday it was. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't been able to make it to one in months because so we can't shut the store down. Right, it's hard to do. So once again, maybe that's a conversation we should have with them. Yeah, I mean. Well, I mean, everybody, you know, works and has stuff going on, but I, I'd be personally willing if, again, I can't guarantee you, I'd take a half a day off of work to go and. If someone introduced I mean, me to the people, you know, yeah. if you, if we go, like, go the first time together and then. It just has to be that first step and yeah. not, they're not bad people. Just no. we, don't, we don't have any interaction There's with them. You know, I, I think there needs to be, so. I have no clue who it is. Yeah, I agree. Um, Lisa, is there a chamber website? I think there is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So we should be able to find out when they, when they meet on that, I would assume. Possibly. I haven't looked it over real close. Yeah. I don't know what they have for okay. a calendar, but at least they have the contact information, I'm sure. Um, Bad man's going to tell us. <laughs> We're leaving the 17th. They have us We're leaving on the 17th of May and we'll be up in the future for four days. We're going to the Is there right something to see. else down there, too? They have nothing for their okay. for That's their fine. hours of operation that I can see right now. I, I will take it upon myself to figure out when, when they okay. meet. Do they, they, Joe, we'll do they at least have contact information so you can get a hold of Susie or somebody? Oh, uh, they do actually. Um, they have uh, current officers, President Susie McGuire, Vice President Patricia Carpenter, Secretary Julie Stitzma, um, the trustees. They actually, the only contact is an email or message at 231-599-3250. Um, but okay. unfortunately, I'm not seeing their email address anywhere on this. I'll, uh, I, I'll try to make contact. In Nate, I think I have one for Julie Sitzma. Yeah, okay. I think I have an email address for Julie Sitzma. Okay. I'll see about getting that to you. And I said just let me know. Yeah, if it works, it works. And again, I mean, that's the only thing I'm going to be gone. I just, we're, I no, It's not a 911, but. You know, it would be nice to do I, because we, we got summer coming. I mean, this is what March April for me. Yeah. See what their thoughts are. Sure, we're where we need to be, 
and then they can move forward and they are very knowledgeable. So right now it's just a question mark of whether it's even valid or not, right? Yes, and if not, then we have to reestablish the entire... It's not that complicated, but yeah. it's nice if what we have is already there and okay. Yeah. So at one point there was one established, nothing ever happened with it. Not that it's ever found <coughs> anywhere and can't find anybody who ever knows of it. Is there a paperwork? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we no. have that, but, but it shows from there. Is, uh, there's actually a map of the DDA that shows exactly okay. what the DDA is, all the rules, everything's set up there. But that's as far as it went. There was never a DDA tool for it. No involvement or whatever. Or nothing. Okay. So it's a small step, but it's one they should take, and maybe it'll bring some of the downtown business owners together, hopefully. Well, is that is that something the, the Planning Commission should start to, or is that a, a council I, issue, or I, I, don't, I don't know. I think right now it's, it's more of a council issue we should okay. set up right, and then okay. maybe it's just something in the planning, just like how we're going to work with the chamber, we should probably be involved right. with the DEA. Yeah, you know? okay. okay. Well, but at this point, the chamber is going to figure, or excuse me, the council, the council is going to figure out if it's where it's at. Yes, so okay. that's being taken care of. Okay. Um, next on the agenda is public comment, which we already, I think, covered. Unless there's... Right. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Ken. Thank God somebody's paying attention. Well, I can tell you on the grant proposal, it was confusing, but I got an email today from Jennifer Hodges. I have to call her tomorrow because it was too late, but our recreation plan has been... The, the DNR has it. So the wording of what they said was, I think it's been accepted. Now, I may be mistaken by the fact that what's been accepted is all the information they've gotten is okay and they're looking at it. But either way, they have it. We made the deadline. Gordy Frazier, I sent her back a little email, told her we're anxiously waiting to hear back on how much money the grant is, because that, that's a big question. So they're working on it. They're going to make the April 1st deadline, and we're just... So Gordy Frazier is writing the grant application. Yes. And the DNR at this point has, we think... They, I know they have it, and they've accepted all the information. The I, at first I took it to mean that means, okay, they, they have approved it, but, but I, I don't want to say that at this point. Okay. But, so we made that deadline. There were a few things we had to do. We had to get some signs made up which we ordered, and there'll be here land, water, conservation fund signs. It should have been, they changed the rules. When, when, when the grant like down on Herrick Field was first done, yeah. they didn't need to be there. Well, now in any grant that you receive money for, those signs have to be there. So we purchased, in the process of purchasing, which yeah. was good enough to proceed, we had to put up and the And the signs you purchased are for previous grants? Yes, anything yeah. you got previous land, water, conservation fund money for has to have that sign on it now. So those would be up. It's not a big deal. No, we put we put up anti-discrimination signs on them. So that's done. I mean, I think everything, everything's been done. It's just a matter of. So by the next meeting, we will, it will be submitted. So the court appraisal will have that. And done. this was for the the park upgrades. This was for the, the bathhouse and it's going to be for the yeah. old docks. Their engineering wall. that entire package. One whole project. Yes. Well, I thought they're just writing the application at this point. Engineering's. They're, they're doing engineering now? They're doing enough. They do the preliminary engineering to submit the grant. Like a schematic. Very schematic. Preliminary they, drawing. They will assign a price yeah. because we have no much grant to ask for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, no, it hasn't that's, gone beyond that. That's all good news. news. Oh, yeah. I think it's yeah. going real good. So. Yeah. Hopefully that comes out good. Sorry I missed that. No. That, that was an important one, too. Yeah. <laughs> Monthly dunkers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, thing, I don't know if this guys change the planning commission, but it, I think it does in a way because it's an improvement to the village. We're looking at, at replacing all all the lights in the village with LED lights. Streetscape probably for sure because it was the savings. Oh, really? And then in, in March 26th, I think we're meeting with consumers and the public. Meeting with consumers, whatever that Tuesday is. Yeah. Um, Friday the 29th. Is it, is it the Tuesday? Very. 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 Very.
I'll say we will get some call. I believe that's what he told me earlier. Now in Grand Rapids, do the street tape on tins. It's unbelievable. Really? Right How quick the payback is. Really? Actually, they'll be they'll we'll dim them down. We will, yes. We we've actually if we go with the same wattage LED as what we currently have, they would be blinding bright. That's what I'm saying. So no, we're, we're actually going to drop, I think, from a hundred watt 25 to twenty-five watt to wow. be able, to, and that it's really going to double. So as consumers, do they give you the? I mean, uh, whatever. Uh, grab folks, so consumers as far as are doing it. Consumers is one we haven't met with yet, so we don't know exactly what their package is. We've met with the gentleman who designed and um, sold us the lighting system in the uh, streetscape area. And I just wonder where the numbers come from. Is all just you know the savings? Is that from? That's not from consumers. That's from the lights downtown. The village owns, but they're metered, so we know how much they right, cost. Right. And then these engineers will plug their number by reducing the wattage. And I, if I had it with me, I, I would. Tell no, I just wanted to work. Who who gives you the savings? The, the engine, uh, because we are going to use a lot less electricity. No, I'm saying the number. Where does that number come from? It doesn't come from consumers, right? It comes from the, how the, much? the engineer gave us the number by what the less That's wattage the will cost us. The conference went to. At, he actually he came up here and met with us. Yeah. I mean, they know they know the per watt is the per kilowatt cost of electricity, yeah. and they know now know how yeah. much more efficient that twenty five. Well, somebody's going to want to see that. Is a hundred. Oh, it, it's. Not it's, me necessarily. No, it's there. It's spelled. It's spelled. Yeah, we've, we've got it spelled right out of how much our savings actually yeah. would be on, on just the street light. Again, we're just looking at um, streetscape lights um, and what that savings would be. Um, like I said, the 28th or whatever that date actually is with consumers would be on what they call the Cobra head light. <coughs> And that would be a whole other scenario. And someone else owns the other lights? We we own the streetscape lights yeah. and just it's a meter per consumers owns all of our cobra ads and then they maintain them. We just pay them for them. Oh, okay. flat, flat fee. Flat fee for flat each fee. light. So, so we have options. Can those get converted too? Or yes, yes, absolutely. We can with savings to the village? Cons yes. Consumers will probably offer us the option. We have two options right now. They replace them and we stay under the same program we're at, where they replace them and they maintain them. The other program they can do is they'll replace them and we maintain them. The third program is they take them out of town and we do what we want and we just buy metered electricity from them. So we'll look at all three options. And again, that'd be a, a huge, and then actually consumers gives you a rebate per light. For LED. Switching to LED. So that kind of offsets some of the cost. There, there's, quite a, there, there's quite a cost to the initial setup of this. But the uh, using our streetscape as an example, it's been in play long enough. Right now, we're going to start replacing ballasts. We have we're going to start replacing yeah. different segments. The, the cost to upgrade to the LED is probably one and a half times the replacement of just the ballast system. So we're going to have that initial cost. But they've got a 15 year life expectancy on them that we probably shouldn't have to touch them. So, so we're going to gain it just that. Off. Five-year payback or less? Less, or much less. We're thinking good. within two to three, if I remember really? the math correctly. Right. I'll have, I'll bring it all. That's pretty good. Yeah. We'll yeah. 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 bring a little bit more in. Well, actually, all we replace is the inside of the lights. We're not actually yeah. really replacing the poles or anything. Right. Yeah. It's, it's an insert. Put yeah. it in the actually, hopefully, pretty soon they're going to send us one, so you'll see one. We're going to replace yeah. one and turn off probably the two lights, both sides of it, and leave it that way for a while. So, but it's going to be a huge difference, in my opinion. If you go to East Jordan, you're all graphics, they all have the down lighting. It doesn't light up the tops of the buildings. Yeah. Well, the it softens you it. You can also see up in mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It, it's because so I know there are some parks that do have to. I know yeah, down the downlighting is a couple of the same. It's, it's actually a lot of town ordinances. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and then there's street lights. Yeah. 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 So I'm sure, well, I know we're going to move forward on that. I, it's, it's a savings. We're going to recoup money right away. I mean, it's yeah, like I said, it's the initial cost of setting it up. But in two to three years, you're actually going to be saving so much that it, it would be well worth. And that was a good time. So now's a good time for streetscape because by everybody's projections, it's time we're going to start doing maintenance on those lights. Yep. So if we replace them now, we've eliminated that cost. It'd be a shame to wait another two years to all the maintenance on the lights, yep. and then think about it. Yep. So it's perfect. Right. So. Agreed. Well, if there's no other comment, concerns, uh, I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 7.33 and a half. I'll make a motion we adjourn. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Do you guys like that 7.33 and a half?
Uh, <laughs> no, it's the round, round three, three and a third. Four. <laughs>